<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test stream. Today we are taking a look at the SDSX Simple Drum Sampler. Okay, don't let the simple confuse you. Uh, this It's brilliant. It's great. This is a really... A really, really, really great drum machine. It does so much stuff. It's AUV3. You can import your own samples. I'll show you how to do everything. It will be a full tutorial, so I'll take you through the whole thing. Uh, and it's really, really, really fun. And it's easy to use as well. There's no confusion here. Uh, once I show you how it works, you'll go, all oh, right, I get that. All right, so let us, first of all, the, when you load this thing right, you'll get to the default kit, which will be this. And it'll have a couple of patterns programmed in for you. And it'll jump between one and two, you can see here. So you can program, right, up to 16. If you hold this, you'll see we have 16 patterns. These are your patterns. You have 16 patterns of up to 16 steps long, each pattern sort of thing. Uh, you can polyrhythm and polymetric this as much as you like. Pair pad or pair pattern or pair kit. So, you know, you're not limited in that kind of thing. So here's the default kit. You'll see, the lighter I touch this, the, la the louder it gets, so that's pressure. If we open these little dots here, we have tempo, we can do the tempo from the top here. Tempo, uh, swing, I've got some swing set there, I'll reset it. Quantization, we've got that on full, that's for the sequence, so you can have quantized turned off, so you can get all boom bappy if you want to. Then we have gate length, uh, pan, that's whole pan for the metronome and the level for the metronome as well. Always nice to have a level for your metronome. If you go into the settings here, okay, you can set your buffer size, you can have battery saving switched on, you can disable the sequences so you're just jamming around with the kit. Velocity mode, you'll see now, if, if your device supports haptics like the iPhones do, then you'll have a haptics feedback button as well. Okay, so at the moment it's on pressure. We can have it on fixed velocity. No matter what we do, it'll just be just be fixed. Then you have top, which means we'll go from uh, quieter to louder the more up the top of the pad we are. Then we have, this is center. So it'll be at maximum volume in the center. Then we have pressure, which is the one I just showed you, which is really depends on how much you hit your iPad. So very lightly and hit it harder and that's it. So we'll, we'll have it on fixed for now. Okay, so, oh, that's your effects. Then you have a mixer. Now these two screens, the top part and the bottom part are interchangeable depending on what view you want to have. So we have the mixer at the moment, which is on the bottom view, and you see we have a mixing pot for each of the actual pads. Then we have the effects view. Now you have five effects. You have a master effect, which is like a gain uh, and a saturation. You have a delay, a reverb, a high pass, and a low pass. And whatever you touch here, for instance, let's go look at the delay. If you touch the R, it'll go to reverb. If you touch the little M, it'll go to master. If you touch the little high pass, it'll go to high pass. If you touch the low pass, you can, and then you can kind of just, if I play the little pattern. You can use your high pass and low pass as a performance mode kind of thing, right? Then for each of the actual, like for the delay and reverb, now the master's different, I'll show you the master, so. starts to saturate it a bit. Now you can see, just next to this little lock icon here, there's a little light that's flashing. If I overload, it'll turn red, which means you're probably gonna clip. OK, 
okay now for the delay and reverb we have send so if we go to the mixer each channel has a send for the delay and the reverb now these two toms although they're drowned in reverb they are actually the reverb is part of the sample so it, you'll see there's no reverb on there you can also pat like for instance that's just the kick the snare is dry let's apply some reverb and then delay and then you control how much delay in that and the feedback and the time with the xy pad okay on this kind of thing here all right so let's see moving along the hurt yes we've looked at effects this is where you can import there's lots of ways you can get samples into this right okay there's at least three so you can swap out any of the pads so say that for instance that noise pad and if we wanted to change it for say like a clack sound we can we can audition the samples so let's drop it for this bass drop so we just pick it up and drop it on there and now we have that bass drop on that pad you can also you import your own samples I'll, I'll show you that as well okay so then we have general settings which i've just showed you about how to set your you know you can do ableton link your velocity mode the haptics midi sources now you can also use this will receive and send midi to anything you like hardware or other apps it like i said it works in auv3 as well but you'll see at the moment i have one of three midi sources session source which is the general ipad default audio fuse and then the artoria key step which i have just at the side of me and that is also sending midi to uh, sdx sds sorry so if i grab this little, the little keyboard here there and i can play in my patterns with that and record them in as well okay so a quick look at how the patterns work right so at the moment you'll see we have six patterns running on this default kit if i hold it here you'll see it's going to play eight patterns that we have all right if we want to just play pattern one we just tap on it like this and it will play pattern one only it will never change pattern two so hold this in the select let's play pattern one we can also chain together patterns okay so this is really clever and it, it's really really useful if we if what we're gonna do is we'll just we'll delete some patterns. so if we hold this little X button here and we'll go tat 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 now if we play we have no patterns at all okay because i've deleted them all and we can have up to 16 patterns we can have up to 16 patterns per kit and you you basically you've got unlimited kits you get tons of factory default ones and each of them remember their own 16 patterns and the sequence and all the settings yes it's, it does have song mode yeah it's 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 pattern chain and i'll basically show you what to do now um but yeah so you basically got unlimited patterns depending on how many kits you have uh and if you copy kits and they're the same kit you if not you could have like 100 patterns well, i mean 16 patterns is enough for a song right so There are lots of ways we can program patterns as well easiest way of course is switch on the metronome well we'll just press play switch on the metronome and we can control the volume of the metronome as well so now anytime i jump in i can program my pattern done and it's got choke groups as well we're getting to the real nitty gritty in a sec so we can switch our metronome off now so that's one way of inputting information right the other way to program it is we can leave that on that 
the is you see where it says tap to program at the top here we can just tap this and now we can select the pad or a step now we can do this while it's running and let's select this bass drop okay a couple of things to notice here that this will do it will it'll i like it i like to call it ratcheting you can subdivide depending on the resolution up to four per pad so you'll see it says 127 that is the current velocity level for that pad it's maximum velocity level if you had it on mix or whatever you know and it, at the moment it's going to repeat this is not the right time to do this on but i just want to show you once you go into tap to program you can select say this and then you can place it anywhere you like so tapping on it will add it tapping on it again will take it away so now on our very first beat we're going to have this bass drop so let's let's select another pad this this clap so let's have this just offset okay but let's say we want to kind of have this last one you know be a ratchet be a, a subdivision of its beat if we select two on here now you'll see we go three four or back to one so let's go two tap on this and tap it again and you'll see a little times two in there and now we've got that ratchet in there if we tap on hi-hats now, because Ratchetton's good on hi-hats, right? Let's tap on that. Here's where our hi-hat pattern currently is. Let's add another couple in here. Well, let's do this. Let's do with a two on here. Add it back in. Let's do a three on the next one. So you know we've got that cool ratchety vibe going on. Let's add some swing. And we've just added swing to that. Let's take it off and add it to the whole kit. So let's go into swing for the entire thing. Okay, cool beans. So, I add, let me just go into this pad here, take it off there, because I've record switched on. So you can kind of record in however you like. Right, so, so we've got our one pattern, and there it is, one pattern, uh, one of 16 patterns. Before we get overly, overly, overly complex, if you want to shorten a pattern, right, so at the moment it's going over full 16. If we want to make this go over just eight, we tap this. And this is just for this, just for this pattern. If we add another pattern, we can have that and do whatever we like, and I'm going to show you that. So let's put that back to 16. Okay, cool bean. So one pattern. Let's the next one down is copy. So copy pattern two, like copy pattern two. So we we make sure we select the pattern that we want to copy, the one that's highlighted, and then we just tap number two, and then we can go to number two, and it's an exact replica of number one. But now we could make some adjustments. Maybe let's shorten pattern number two to eight. Go back to pattern one. Okay, so you see how complicated you could get if you like building up a complete pattern. Now, if we want to go into song mode, if we want to chain these patterns together, with, I'm, I'm trying to keep it simple with just two patterns at the moment, okay? So I don't want to like overly confuse stuff, but you can see how deep you could go if you like just with the pattern programming. Hold the pattern program thing here like this. And while you're still holding it down, you press one and you press two, okay? 
what that means is you're going to go from one to two and then back again so watch the little number here and don't forget we halved our second pattern okay where this gets really smart let's just go to pattern one and we're going to just play pattern one where this gets really smart maybe we just wanted pattern two which was half the length maybe we just want that as a fill but maybe we want our first pattern to repeat a number of times well the cool thing is you can get each pattern to repeat up to 128 times if you want but i'll show you real real simples i'm going to hold this and i'm going to tap pattern one seven times one two three four five six seven and then i'm going to tap pattern two once so what's going to happen now is it's going to play pattern one seven times go to pattern two play it once and then revert back to playing pattern one two three four five six seven pattern two and then back to pattern one okay so that's very cool right so this is where it gets really really very very cool i'm going to take that back to mix of you for a minute the little lock icon at the top okay if we tap on that you'll see the little spanners appear at the corner of each of the pads this means you can go into deep editing for every single pad. So for instance, let's look at this particular pad, the bass drop. Tap on the spanner, and this is all the controls per pad. Okay, so let's go through them, shall we? We can see that the sample is bass drop. We can audition it there. We can change its pan position. or its overall level. In the second one, we can add another sample. So we can have two samples. No, the dev is here. We can have two samples per pad. So we can do that a couple of ways as well. We can go into our uh, thing. So for instance, we could say that click, we could just pick it up and drag it onto that sample there. And now that sample is a click. Oops, sorry about that. Let me just go back to my uh, thing. So you'll see we've got the click there now as well as the sub drop. And if we close it, it'll be on our pad. So, so two, two samples there. And if we play our pattern, it'll be... I'm just going to go back to pattern one to play on its own for just in case. But let's go back into our menu here. So there's a sample in its click. We can do exactly the same. We can also pitch our samples up and down. So for instance, double tap to return and pan them. Trigger mode. Trigger mode is super cool. It's super cool. So at the moment it's just one shot one sh one shot boom then you have gate and i'll show you this on the pad so hold it and and what's nice is let me erase look i'm holding this let me erase these two patterns so we've got nothing in i'm going to quickly record in and just to show you it records the gate action as well So I'll hit record. Okay. So I'll delete that as well. Let's go back into our menu. So gate mode, then you have toggle. What, what this will do is toggle it on and off so if you okay then you have 
repeat and then this is the resolution so so kind of like you know you get the and that will record in as well obviously so and then we are 16 triplets 32 up to 32 triplets 64 and 64 triplets so very very fast resolution let's go back to one shot sample mode this is also very cool as well sample mode allows you to mix between the two samples on that you've got your pad so at the moment it's on mix mode which means that they both play at the same time this gets really 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 great this does rotate I, this is brilliant rotate so for each strike of the pad let's just close it you'll play one sample and then the other that's super that, to me that's super useful because it means that if i pan my bass drop and then pan my click so if you've got if you've got a hi-hat sample and you put the same hi-hat sample on each of these sample packs each of the samples split them up you've got you've got two two completely independent samples basically running off just one pad which is great for hi-hats and stuff like that anyway so that's cool I really like that feature the rotate and then you have random which will kind of it will decide you know it will randomly choose either the bass drop or the click which is again super useful then we have velocity right so you have i'm not sure what velocity i mean that's cross velocity x velocity mx velocity sw and rant so velocity this will do i'm not sure you can oh, velocity switching all right that's something you can mess with but i'm going to leave it on mix for now anyway then you have loop uh loop right if you try to engage loop, it'll say you have to have the the gate the the, the pads mode set to toggle or gate so if we have this on gate engage loop mode it'll just it'll loop for you so as soon as you hit it it will it'll just keep looping which could be useful as well so i'm going to take loop mode off poly mode is like if you've got a long sample you've imported your own long sample um it, it, you know when it, if it, it's a sample goes on too long and you keep triggering it it kind of gets muddy and overloaded well if you have poly mode and again you have to have it on a gate but if you have that in gates it stops it mute groups okay so this is where I say, it has one mute group so for instance if we look if we were to look at say the hi-hat closed I think mute group is on for that and then if we go to say i'm just going to close this and choose it quickly hi-hat open you'll see that the same mute group has been applied so hi-hat open and closed have been muted by each other and it has one mute group so you could apply a mute group to this so for instance if you're when you're in this menu you can do a couple of things you can rename you can rename it okay so cancel we don't need to bother renaming it we can change the color maybe we wanted it to be on a, a purple the hi-hat closed or you can you can scroll through all the different pads here without having to go back to the main screen see if we're on our kick sort of thing and then you can make all kinds of cool adjustments with the kick if you know depending on what you've got you could put you could add another kick in there that might be nice okay so that's basically that's basically the kind of detail you've got pair pad now 
if you want to save a kit, if you've made loads of adjustments to a kit and you saved it, let's change these two toms, for instance, for this one. Let's go and you can search as well. I'm going to search for Tom. That's those two. So I'm just going to drag this one onto there and this one onto there. So we've got no pattern because I've deleted them all. So and we've made we put two samples onto this pad now. So we we tap this and it's not going to overwrite this. You need to save it to overwrite anything. And when you overwrite something, it will save it to your user kit. So basically we go, okay, right, I'm gonna save kit and call this. I'll just call this, uh, I don't know, um, video demo, um, demo one. So, oh, you can also choose if the kit remembers the sequence or you could just have it as the kit and it not remember the sequence, but I think it's gonna be nice to remember the sequence you programmed with the kit, obviously, and the tempo as well. So. <coughs> For me, that I'd leave both of those on anyway and just hit save. And now if we go to user video demo, so here's the first kit that I messed with. And it, it's, I'll turn the metronome if it's remembered the pattern I programmed. And then we could go to TSTR1, which was another one. Which is this snare I imported, I'll show you how to import your samples now. And then one call rewired, which was based off another kit in here as well. And then the one we've just done, video demo one, which has nothing in there because we didn't program anything. So, but still has our, and I guess that's on toggle if we have a look. And one, one sec. Okay, so I've just got to find something in the chat. Oh. Solrak, if you're if you're listening, I can't find your uh, question. Um. Solrak, can you can you ask, ask me the question again in chat because I honestly can't I can't find can't find you in the chat feed. Um, so I'm gonna have to what's it? Hello, Morris Capone. Anyway, so. Um, I'll carry on because I can't find I can't find oh there we go hi everybody just came is this right just came right now is that for iOS yes Solrak yes it is iOS and yes it is AUV3 so yes it's both it is he can't see Stephen he's blind that's why I have to ask answer his questions yes and it is <laughs> Solrak yeah it is it is iOS and it is AUV3 okay so importing your own samples Let's let's do that, shall we? So let's, like I said, we we can any kit we manipulate, it's fine. We can it will always just save as it as our own. Um, it will save as its own thing. You know, we don't have to worry. So we can import samples any any time we want. So look, we can import from files. We can do this import from files. I'm pretty sure as well if we go in here. I'm not sure about this actually. Um, sample. Um, user samples will be at the bottom. It comes with a ton of ton of stuff anyway. Yeah, so Doug's samples, they're down the bottom. So let's just go import. Let's close that again. Let's go imp and close this. Let's go import from files. And do we want to? No, I'm gonna exit. I'm gonna put it in an existing folder, and I'm gonna put it in Doug samples. So it's great. It asks you if you haven't created any folders already or anything like that. It asks you if you want to make a new sample folder. Well, I don't, so I've just selected that, 
and I'll go okay and this will take me to my recent now so for instance if I wanted to find I don't know what this uh, some of these are let's just go and have a look in audio share and some of, look at some of Dean's cool stuff so D dirty tube drums these are Dean's one shots and there's some claps here um so let's it doesn't really matter what sample it is but i'm going to choose this one clap one successful and then what i can do is choose like to replace this particular clap with my um it's the, oh i could put it in this one as well so i could like did you see what i did there look for sample two just tap this or i drag a sample in and they'll also be here as well down the bottom see clap zero one and then that snare <coughs> or we can scroll down this so i'm going to choose that uh, sorry this one double tap it to load it and now we have our our other clap that we've just imported which is very very cool and i'm pretty sure that soul fyft is in the chat job done yeah it was one of your i think it was one of your patches that i messed with um but i'm not sure it might not have been but since he's here let's play with one of his kits and he will have programmed some patterns as well so that's great so and don't forget anytime you want to change any of this stuff out you can so that was there's another kit here so it comes with tons and tons and it absolutely comes with shed loads of stuff and we can we can if we want any time right here's another cool thing let me just choose pattern one to play Let's go into our, I've recorded it in, and go into the mixer. Mix it down. Hi Vortex. Now don't forget, if you don't want to keep jumping into this menu, just remember to lock up, lock it up again. So let's have a listen to some more of these kits. Right, okay, so here's the thing with the MIDI. So here's my keyboard. The MIDI, I'm just going to go back to my default, this one here, this first one. The MIDI, you set up here in your settings, sorry. And you'll see it says it's set to receive MIDI. We looked at the sources. Uh, let me just go down a bit there. So MIDI sources, you select the source that you want to use as MIDI. And then use virtual lap, blah, blah, blah. And then you can hard pan the whole thing, restore purchases. This is free with some purchases, by the way. It's about 10 quid to buy the entire pro thing forever. Or there are a couple of sub options if you want. But you've got a choice, so it's cool okay so midi if we go into our our actual thing again so if we look at the kick for instance you'll see it's right now it's receiving midi on channel 60 on sending on 60 or no 60 but on my midi keyboard this is the little key step that is about c3 so c3 up if you wanted to change the key so if i wanted it to be on b3 for instance i would just set to receive uh, on and now if i tap c c3 nothing will happen and if i tap the b below it my midi is on there so that, that's that's that okay so basically guys i'm gonna run i'm gonna take this into auv3 uh a, into uh, AUM now just to show you it running as an AUV3 as well. 
because it looks slightly different and there are a couple of slightly different things but hopefully you will understand how easy it is to program this i've showed you how to chain your patterns together so that they play in sequence how you can have one pattern play multiple times and then just have another one play and then another one you can chain all these up together how to delete patterns and how to shorten patterns and you can also do that with each individual pad as well which leads for some really interesting polyrhythmic stuff anyway so let's close this version shall we and open um where is it uh, aum what the screen okay so let's just do this do this open this open audio S S D S X here and now if we open it up here you'll see that we don't have the two screens for the we still have the the kit and it will have remembered our kit see it's remembered video it's, it's it available in the eight it's in the AU as well. So just have a look in here. I've got the actual trigger ah, trigger mode. I've got set to toggle gate. Can have this one shot. So um, you'll see that you only have the one screen here. Okay, this is like the iPhone version of you, which is fine. But you need to if you want to see your mixer, you just tap on this, and then you can scroll through the full thing. If you want to see your effects, you tap on that. If you want to drop your samples in you tap on this if you want to set up your like your buffer size and buffer size when it's auv3 is set by the host the midi is all dealt with by the host the play button won't do anything at all because it has to be played with this so there's no pattern so if we let's let's program a pattern shall we let's uh let's just look at pattern one and i'm going to switch the metronome on and hit record okay switch the metronome off we could have used that AUM's metronome as well so you know there you go but there it is now running inside of AUM and we can maybe I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy so I'm going to select pattern, I'm going to copy it to two, and then I'm going to select pattern two. And now it's playing pattern two. We can now add to that as well. So let's add that bass drop in, shall we? We can either record it in. Don't forget to check if your record is armed, or maybe we want that locked up so we'll not keep going. Hi, Rustique! I want to say hi to everyone who's here as well. I know I haven't been like that responsive to people in the chat, but you know, I, I'm very appreciative of what you're all here watching, but also that I wanted to concentrate on what I was saying. So, so this is in pattern tuner. And then let's do it again. No, let's, Copy pattern two, two, three. Let's select three. And let's make some adjustments with the tap to program function. Now I can select a step or a pad. So if I select this step, I can choose whether to put that in there. I'm going to, right, I'm going to select um, this hi-hat and I'm going to add more in and I'm going to make some adjustments to the actual ratcheting so I'm going to tap this again for two and put two in there and I'm going to slow it down Tap it again for so I've got a three, put a couple of threes in here. Thanks, Stephen. Brilliant. Thank you very, very much. Most most appreciated. And then maybe we could choose a four.
Brilliant. Now this is what I was saying. You can do this strange thing with each each pack, right? You can remember what I was saying before, right? That we could shorten our patterns to anything. We can also do it pair on a pair pad basis. <laughs> right, so if I tap to program now and I'll select this Tom and maybe put a few more in here. Select this one, I'll put a couple more in here as well. So with this one, we can hold our length like this and set it here. Now we're getting polymetric. Select this one and maybe set it even there. Or odd. See now we're getting polymetrics on the on the toms. See the pattern site length is changing. Let me can fix it any time though. We could go equal distances and it's gonna sound different. But let's go full length eh, on both of them. So we've got now three different patterns. And we can do the same as we did before. We can hold this and go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And each of those patterns are gonna play four times and rotate around themselves. So So you get the idea you, 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 you can and each of those patterns when you know you when you're tapping them to set the, the the play range like if we just want one two three they'll play once each of those can be up to 128 patterns long bars like, like if you you've got your 16 steps you can have that repeat 120 up to 128 times per pattern that you've programmed and all the patterns are individually remembered per kit if you know what I mean. So for the last few minutes, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through some of these kits for you, uh, because they the ones that comes with are really really good. So the factory stuff we've got. We'll start with analog warmth. All the factory stuff, all the stuff from this soul L loft, soul loft. They all come with patterns programmed. Then there's community patterns. Lots of them. Well, so there's a few of them. Uh, I'm not. I'm, I'm really surprised there's not more because I think it's brilliant. But we'll go with the factory stuff and we'll start with analog warmth and i'll just scroll through a few different ones and they all have different patterns which is lovely i think this is a kind of if you like drum machines i think this is a, a no-brainer and it, it looks it looks really great as well so you know let's take off our editing and we'll just play a few patterns through guys thanks so much for joining me this evening brilliant thank you i hope i i covered all this uh, the the details as oh sorry i did forget you say that you can make your pads full screen by doing this as well and that also reflects on the the pad editing stuff as well which you'll sp will, where you'll spend loads of time because it's very cool so i'm going to leave that open because we want to see the pan but anyway guys thanks so much i'm going to just play this for about five minutes and uh, i will see you all very very soon um yeah Thank you very much and thank you for the super chat as well i must most appreciate it and and strike the like folks if you're watching now but now i'm going to let you hear the stuff that it comes with basically before you kind of get into kind of doing your own thing but you know it's awesome stuff see you later Ta -da.
don't forget that all these all these samples are interchangeable you can drop out any of them you want you can make your own kits you can import your own samples Daniel, Jamie, and Jamie, dude. 